Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I was gonna save this till next week, but uh, I just realized I won't be around probably. So, um, this is a live auction that I went to and won. Uh, my winning bid was $125, and I got all of this for $125. Bucks. Um, so where should I start? I'll say that I, I have it hooked up right now, but I got a complete Wii, original Wii console, with four controllers and uh, four nunchucks. I got two silver GameCube consoles with no hookups. They both do work. And I got two black uh, GameCube controllers with it. I got a uh, Ring King for the NES. Um, that's not very uncommon. I got uh, Wave Race 64. I got the new Tetris. And the rest are all Wii games, I believe. Oh no, there's more. So I'll start with the Wii games. There's a lot. Uh, Neopets Puzzle Adventure. Kirby's Dream Collection. The Godfather Black Hand Edition. Lost in Shadow. Link's Crossbow Training, no uh, book. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, that was rude. Uh, one Chanbara Bikini Zombie Slayers. Um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, Wii Sports Resort. It, didn't, it was just loose uh, in the console, so I just put it in a Super bag for now. Uh, let's tap. Super Mario Galaxy, Sin and Punishment, Resident Evil 4, Metal Slug Anthology, Resident Evil uh, Archives, the original one. The worst part about doing this is that I have to take them out of the bag that I have them all nicely sorted in and uh, show them to you and then put them back in. Another copy of Resident Evil 4. Another copy of Wii Sports. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Samba Day Amigo. Uh, American Idol Encore. I understand the second, uh, number two in this is pretty valuable. I think there's a copy in here. Another Resident Evil 4. Uh, another Sin and Punishment. Uh, Knights. Here's that other one, uh, American Idol Encore 2. I believe this game is like 40 or 50 dollars. I don't really know why. There's a few in here. When I was looking them up, I was like, really? Pokey Park, Pikachu's Adventure, Animal Crossing City Folk, Mad World, Manhunt 2. I kind of want to play that one. Uh, Another Sin and Punishment. Legend of Zelda. Uh, Punch Out. Need for Speed Carbon. Monster Hunter 3 Try. Hot Wheels Beat That. This is another one I looked up and it is expensive and I don't know why. Uh, F1 2009. Another one. I kind of grouped these up into the expensive ones, so I, uh, I'm going to sell these separately, I think. Formula 1 2009 was apparently only released in Canada, and uh, is pretty expensive, like $40, $50. Another copy of American Idol 2, uh, Encore 2. Trust me, the games that I was most excited about when I uh, was looking through this lot and bidding... Um, are not the ones that I'm as excited about now that I've looked up some of the prices. Uh, no More Heroes, Little King's Story, uh, One Piece Unlimited Adventure. This is another like $30, $40, $50 dollar game. No clue why. Samba de Amigo, Red Steel 2, Red Steel. And I'll also say prior to this, I owned one Wii game. Uh, and did not have a Wii console. So I did at one point. 
soft modded it, uh, played all the games I wanted to play, and got rid of it. Uh, I have a Wii U now, which I have played once. Well, not once, but played all the way through uh, Super Mario Bros. U and tried out Zombie U, and it's basically sat on the shelf ever since. I might get Pikmin, though. I don't know. Alright. Another Sin and Punishment. I think there's four or five of them. Uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Uh, Naruto Class of the Ninja Revolution 3. Super Paper Mario. No More Heroes 2. Final Fantasy Crystal Bearers. No More Heroes. Super Mario Galaxy. Dragon Quest Swords. Uh, there's another Naruto 3. There's another Metroid Corruption. Uh, Metroid Other M. Twilight Princess. Uh, Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. Uh, Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Trauma Center, Second Opinion, Muramasa, The Demon Blade, this one's cool, uh, Super Mario All-Stars, might hang on to that one, I don't know, Dead Space Extraction, love Dead Space games, Resident Evil 4, there's gotta be 4 or 5 of those in here too, Resident Evil Archives, Boy is Blob, Trauma Center, New Blood, uh, Fortune Street. This was another one I never heard of, and is uh, is kind of expensive and hard to find. So it's a it's a board game. Think kind of like Mario Party. Um, but it's got characters from a bunch of different franchises in here. Um, Dragon Quest, Mario, Donkey Kong. Kirby, a bunch of different series, um, and it's produced by Square Enix, which is weird. Anyway, I'm going to try that one. Uh, Arc Rise Fantasia, uh, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenchi 3, this one is also quite expensive, and Resident Evil 0. I did like some rough math on how much I could get if I sold all these separately and I'm looking at probably seven or eight hundred dollars at least maybe more and I'll tell you kind of what happened uh, all of these were part of a foreclosure type thing or bankruptcy sale at a store that had uh, comics video games CDs DVDs that kind of stuff um, I showed up late and I missed a whole bunch of apparently really good deals. They had a bunch of arcade machines. Um, I missed the NES and uh, Super Nintendo stuff. So um, I bid on this lot. I bid on a PlayStation 1 lot that just got too expensive. And um, anything else? Oh! A Neo Geo AES uh, console and lot. But that got too expensive too. So this was probably the best deal. And there wasn't really anybody else bidding on this but me. Uh, the bidding started at 100 bucks, so pretty good about that. And it also came with a box of plug and plays that uh, I'll probably trade. I know OK Chief collects them. I think some other guys too. So might work something out with these. I don't know. Uh, I have no use for them. This one actually I bought at Value Village, but the rest of them uh, came in the auction. This is an Intellivision. Uh, second edition one. I got 50% off that price, so I got it for four bucks. And it's got, um, geez, I don't know how many games. What does it say? It's got Astro Smash 2, Beach Volleyball, Frog Bog, Crown of Kings, Deadly Discs, Long Drive Golf, Maze Shoot, Tennis, Space Armada 1 and 2, Space Gunner. Anyway, oh, 10 games. Makes sense. Anyway, I got that one. I just ended up picking that up. Uh, this one is SpongeBob SquarePants. 
my camera wants to unfreeze. Uh, these are Jack's Pacific ones. There's a whole bunch of these in here, and they're all in, in really good shape. Um, so it's a SpongeBob one. Uh, this is a Tiger handheld of Wheel of Fortune. They have little expansion modules in the back that give you more clues and stuff. Um, there's, a, there's two of these in here. Uh, this one's Wheel of Fortune. And this one is uh, Name That Tune. It's also a Tiger one that's got a uh, another slot in here. I think these came out in... Um, I looked these up. I think like 95 or something like that. They all work. They all have price tags on them still from the store. Don't judge me on something, please. This one is uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. This also came uh, in that lot. And it's also made by Jack Specific. World Poker Tour. This one's also made by Jack Specific. I might try this one. Uh, Sesame Street Elmo's World, also by Jack Specific. This is an Atari paddle set for two players. It'll do four different modes of Pong, essentially. Uh, it's called Paddle Ball. I don't know. Not my thing, but two players, you can play Pong back and forth. Um, this is a Namco one. So it's got uh, Pac-Man, uh, Pole Position, Dig Dug. There's a bunch of those on there. This is also a Jack specific one. Um, Radica Tetris. Jack Specific Hannah Montana. <laughs> um, Jack Specific Star Wars. This has like, uh, I don't know, five or six games on there. So I tried that one out. Um, Jack Specific Golden Tea. Up to four players. Uh, I think three courses or so. Kind of cool. I can see playing this when my dad was over my brother or something. I can get with that. This is kind of cool. My keypad. This is another Namco one with different games on it and it's wireless. Um, so this little piece that looks like a uh, what do they call those? Cocktail arcade cabinet comes off and they talk to each other so this can be plugged into the TV and this can be in your lap. This has like Galaga, Pole Position, Pac-Man, all that kind of stuff. I think there's 10 games on it. Um, this is Jack Specific Batman. There's a lot of games on here, dude. I think 25 if I remember. There's five different characters. You can play as Batman, Robin, uh, Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, Joker, that kind of thing. And they each have five levels and each level is maybe 15 minutes or something. This controller actually feels kind of cool too. I like this one. Another Jack specific one. And these are all like 15, 20 bucks on eBay, even opened. I think new they're about $40. So I think I've got maybe 15 of them. It's a pretty good deal. It's included in that same uh, lot I was just showing you with the Wii stuff in there too. Here's another Jack specific uh, Disney one. And another Jack specific uh, SpongeBob one, like 10 games or something on it. So yeah, kind of cool. If someone's really interested in these and collects them, uh, we can do some kind of trade for all of them at once if you want, or uh, any of them individually. Doesn't really matter. To me. I think that's it. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I basically showed you everything that I've gotten in the last little while, I think. Yeah. Anyway, probably sick of uh, watching me by now. So uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe, uh, criticize me, <laughs> make fun of my speech impediment, whatever you want. And uh, 
that's it, I guess. I'll try to keep posting more. Thanks, guys.